Hello, I'd like to share a keepsake Christmas card book that I just finished. I've done this project before a couple times. I've made two of these that I've kept for myself and I just thoroughly enjoy these because I love Christmas cards. This one is put together using the Zutter Bind It All machine. I've got wire binding on it. I have attached lace and ribbon and eyelash trim for decorations down the sides of the wires. Added a couple beaded charms. This one has a Christmas star added to it and some red and green beads. Somewhere in here there is one that's made from a recycled earring with some bells on it and both of these are attached so that they can be removed and the covers front and back are made of chipboard that's covered with cardstock there's the back and the front I've added a Christmas card that I've used <coughs> excuse me some glitter to accent and made this embellishment with some lace and layered silk flowers and brad and opened this up and I tried to incorporate as many Christmas cards as I could and I do make an effort when I lay these out to try to match up the pages so they complement each other at least a little bit. This one is a beautiful card just got some 3D pop up here a lot of glitter open it up this is a card that's attached with a paper hinge opens up to another card here here we have a snowman card and this beautiful card has some gold embossing with a little shine to it gorgeous card this card shows Santa working on his toys I've added in between some of the pages with the cards some gift tags just for interest and color. This page was created on a gold envelope. So I've added the card with the kids here. They're looking up the chimney to see if Santa's on his way. And in the pocket of the envelope, a poinsettia, another Christmas card, and another card with Santa reading his mail snowman let it snow Santa Claus and a snowman and added this little 3d embellishment of a poinsettia these cards are pretty remind me of Courier and Ives paintings from years gone by a sleigh ride some glitter this little scene is gorgeous. Got some geese flying off and some blue jays and a red bird. I think a chickadee in that little corner. Lots of detail. These are two fun Christmas cards. They both have some, uh, some dimension to them. A pop-up on the snowman, a pop-up on the sleigh, and a little pom-pom here. Lots of glitter on both of these cards. And these two were put together so that I've got a pocket with another card inside. This card has some embossing as well and a little bit of glitter. Opens up to, this is fun, kids love to do gingerbread men at Christmas time in a gingerbread house with candy on the roof. You can open up and write your Christmas memories inside. Another gift tag. This card is just adorable. Somebody's getting ready to string cranberries and popcorn on the tree for Christmas. Got some cookies and gingerbread men going on there. And that card, the two, are stitched together with sewing machine stitching just for some dimension and interest. Added this pop-up rhinestone dimensional here. Some snowmen, some more glitter. These two cards, some kids building a snowman. Got their sled there, supposed to be shoveling snow, I think, but they're building a snowman. 
and inside some more of these little gift tags and another card. This gorgeous Christmas tree with ornaments and bells and a Christmas star. A glitter on a snowman card. This card is cute. <coughs> Excuse me, Holly. Jolly wishes. These reindeer have rhinestones for their noses. Made a pocket here from another card and added this card. And I think most of us have some kind of memories from our childhood where we were shopping for toys or wishing for toys and the windows were all decorated and that's a nice card. This one shows Christmas Angel and I've added glitter and sparkle to the wreath and her wings and added this rhinestone dimensional. This gorgeous card came this way with a silver embossing and the beautiful glitter on the dove. And this card is made to flip up. You can see the tree through the window. It's sewn on with a paper hinge. Inside you see the Happy Holidays Christmas tree. Another doorway inviting you into a warm Christmas scene. A snowman outside. I've made an embellishment here where I've added some glitter and this dimensional poinsettia. Three snowmen. A little bit of sparkle for snow in the background. This is a cute snowman tag. And this pretty scene says Christmas, a time to remember those who touch our lives in special ways. I just liked the soft pinky purple on that card. And here we have some deer out in the forest, a Christmas star. And this is a tradition for some families at Christmas to go cut and carry your own tree home. And we've got the family dog in there, some beautiful colors, lighting and glitter. And a traditional batch of holly, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year with a little gold trim on that card. And this card is a Thomas Kincaid design. It has the carriage and some kids riding their sleds in a beautiful Victorian style home. Happy Holidays, some gorgeous Christmas ornaments here with a little glitter, a tag that says let it snow, a card with Santa Claus sitting at his desk trying to figure out who those good kids are. And this is one of my favorite cards in the book. This card reminds me of the type of Santa Clauses I saw in the 60s when I was a kid. And the gold foil around it and the embossed snowflakes, I just really like that. In the back page, I covered the chipboard with cardstock and created a pocket and machine stitched some layers of eyelet and lace trim cut out the holiday greetings from one of the cards and used it here. Fussy cut the bells and the ribbon and added that. And to the pocket I've added this card that says the true gifts of Christmas are for the heart to enjoy. And some detail sections that I cut from cards. Wishing you peace and joy. And this is actually a postcard from the turn of the century. This is not a copy of one. This is the actual card with the message on the back, your loving friend Thomas. But this was sent to a place called Rony, Rony's Point, West Virginia. And it's significant to me because that's right across the river in um, Marshall County, West Virginia. It's got a little historical significance at that location. but. It shows you how far back the tradition of Christmas cards go and the beauty that will be missed if we stop trading Christmas cards. So that's one reason I enjoy making these books and I enjoy mine. 
I'm hoping maybe somebody will enjoy this one as well. And thank you for watching. Have a good day and Merry Christmas early. Bye.